Jenna and Ginger are asking, my horse has a lot of trouble gaining weight. Do you have any tips and tricks? So the opposite situation uh, than we were just in. Yeah, so did you know I used to work for a horse rescue? I did, okay. I did okay. know that about you. So I have a lot of tips and tricks for getting horses to, to gain weight. Um, the first one is you've got to get the veterinarian out because there are lots of reasons why a horse might be thin or have trouble maintaining or holding weight um, that are medical in nature. In fact, I went to a CE yesterday and we talked about one. So I, I, I'd forgotten about that one. What's a CE? Um, continuing education. Thank you. So it's where vets go to keep up with the latest and greatest and the new things. And uh, one of the trainings was on equine herpes virus, which I know is huge. So um, you've got to get the vet out. And once you have the all clear, then you, you look at the diet and you say, am I feeding the right amount? And am I feeding the right, so that's quantity, quality. Mm. So some examples are, um, we like to feed about 2% of a horse's body weight. You, you like math, right? I do. Okay, so we like to feed about 2% of a horse's body weight um, in forage. So if it's a thousand pound horse, putting you on the spot here. 20 pounds. 20 pounds, right. So 20 pounds of hay. And you have to, which means you have to weigh your hay. And you can use a, a luggage scale, a fish scale, but you put a couple of flakes in a hay net and you, and you weigh it. You don't just go, hmm, looks good. Um, that's quantity. And then quality, it can't be hay from like three years ago and it's brown and dusty. I mean, it should be fresh and good smelling and green and bright. And um, there's, there's also grain. There's, there's a host of, of grain choices not only companies, brands, but, but types of grain. And the important thing there is to feed the minimum that's on the bag so that you're getting the, the vitamins and the minerals and the protein. In this case, probably also want the calories from the grain. And so there are grains that range from hardly any calories, and they're for the, the question before, right? Sure. And then there's, there's grains that are very, um, have a lot of calories, very calorie dense, what we call them. And so that's one. But then other tips and tricks are things like feeding more than twice a day. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd go out to a, a rescue place and then I'd see a horse in a, in a dry lot and it was thin and the person's like, well, I just can't get him to gain weight. And I'm thinking that there's no food in front of him. So they have to have food in front of them. And that's why I like, this is gonna sound crazy, I swear I'm not crazy, small hole hay net. Oh. Right? Okay. You didn't see that coming, did you? Restricting access to food for a horse that's having trouble gaining weight is, feels like a surprise. It does, but here's why it works. Because that's how Mother Nature intends his horses to eat. It's just small amounts all the time. Because that's how their digestive system is made. That like, They secrete acid all the time. So these horses, it turns out that the horse that needs to gain weight does so with a small whole hay net. Because they're eating all the time versus a big meal here that their small two gallon stomach can't handle and then a big meal l later. But if you keep a small whole hay net in front of them all the time, they're eating all the time. Mm. And they don't have these peaks and valleys and spikes and, and troughs, but food is present all the time. And it's fresh food because the trampled on hay, you gotta re remove those reasons too. Um, what else? Oh, and so there's things like beet pulp, mm -hmm. um, hay cubes, Hay pellets, uh, chopped hay is quite tasty, if I say so myself. Um, Want to know more about that mm, later. Uh, fat puts weight on the horse, some horses. The thing with these is you have to try something for at least two weeks, maybe, maybe four weeks is better. Because, again, like I said, every horse is different. Mm -hmm. So what fat might work in one horse, but it might not work in another horse. So you just try it. Yeah. Um, some horses respond really well to digestive support. Things like probiotics and prebiotics, yeast and enzymes. These things all work differently, but the main focus is they help digestive efficiency. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yep. They, they help the horse do his job of breaking down and absorbing food. Rather than just passing it right through. Yeah, they get more out of, they're able to extract more nutrition out of the food they're getting. So, and then, I mean, I could go on. And then day. you're getting more for your money's worth with what you're paying for hay. Oh my gosh, but look at also the environment. If you've got a horse that prefers to eat, they're social creatures, right? If you've got a horse that prefers to eat with other horses and then he's not eating because he's alone, that's stressful. Mm -hmm. He's losing calories, not gaining. Conversely, if you've got a horse that is in a herd but he's low on the the pegging order, mm. then he's not getting his fair share. So you have to take a lot into consideration when you've got a horse who's not getting weight. Why? 
first the vet, then the quality and quantity of food, and then you keep, you keep opening the picture up, the frame wider, and looking at other things. I have several follow-up questions oh, for goodness. you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> the first one, so you said try something for at least two weeks. Would you yeah. recommend for this person, similarly to the person before, keeping that journal of the weight tape oh, and the yeah. body condition scoring? Yeah, I would. So that you can see trends, and then that way you're objectively evaluating how your horse is responding rather than saying like, ah, I think he feels better this week. Right, and this is a person too that needs to body condition score and weight tape. Yeah. So they have those hard objective numbers in that journal along with things they tried. Because there might, might be three, four, five things they have to try to mm -hmm. find the one that works and you don't want to forget what you already did, you know? 